welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an updated makeup collection and I've done a couple in the past. My last one was pretty long so if you want a more in-depth detailed makeup collection definitely go check out that one but this one I'm just showing you kind of my updated organization because I did get some new stuff so if this is something you want to see more of then stay tuned. I'm just going to go over what's on the outside of my collection and what I keep on top of my Alex 9 drawers which are these long white drawers that you see here. But this is just my perfume collection. I'm not going to go into detail because I do have a video on this if you care to check that out. And I have a Marilyn Monroe picture behind because I love her. And then you go over here. The big mirror is from Winners. The smaller mirror on my desk is from Ikea. The desk is the mom drawer from Ikea as well. I do have a chair down below. I don't think I had one in my last collection video. That is from Winners. I don't particularly care for the material on the chair because it is a velvet so it gets dirty so I will be reupholstering that. Over here you can see the length of the Alex 9 drawer. They're quite popular on YouTube and that's because they're very practical. On top of my second Alex 9 drawer I just have a nail polish rack. I got that from eBay. Just Google acrylic nail polish organizer and that will come up. And then I have a brush set that I am currently reviewing from Coastal Scents. I have some flowers from a wedding I was in and behind that I just have a couple books. This is the only thing in this collection that I don't particularly care for. I would rather have my nail polish put away or in something like what I showed you earlier. I prefer that over this but this will do for now. I just needed some extra storage so I have that on my wall for my nail polishes. Currently I have a lot of my brushes out on this towel because I was about to bathe them and then I decided that I wanted to film a makeup collection so kind of caught me in the middle of cleaning everything up so they are over here currently that's why my brush holders seem a little bit empty in this corner I have my eye brushes currently I have most of them out to be cleaned and this you can get at your local craft store or pick it up at a dollar store I would definitely check a dollar store first because that is quite a bit cheaper and the beads and the brushes are in a vase from Ikea and then that is sitting on top of a candle holder, which I thought was perfect to catch any of the beads. That's one thing that's really annoying about this is if you put brushes in too hard or forcefully, all these beads are going to come out. So you might want to put it a bit less, but you can't put too little else your brushes won't stay up. So that's just something that's bothered me over the years. A word of caution if that's something you wanted to do. In the right hand corner, I keep my face brushes still in the same containers as the other corner from Ikea. And I also have a few extra things. I have a brush canister from Sigma. I have a water bottle just in case I need to spray my beauty blenders. And I also have a picture of my son and I. This was the first picture I ever took with my son when he was a newborn. So it holds a special place in my heart. And my hubby got it for me for my first Mother's Day, framed it. So I like to keep it out there. Then I also have this MAC Compact. And I have this out just to be fixed because I shattered it. So it's pretty busted. So I have to fix that. So now I'm just going to quickly go through my makeup collection. Some of these drawers are quite full. So in this first drawer, you can't really reach at the back, which is one of the things I don't like about these Alex 9 drawers. But there is a way I guess you can make it so it comes out a bit further. I just haven't gone and done that yet. But I just keep things in the back that are extras or that I don't use as often, so it's not that big of a deal. I keep Halloween stuff in the back, some moisturizers, and this is just my primers. BB creams and I do have a couple deodorants in there as well. This drawer you can see a little bit better but these containers I bought from Home Depot. This is what recently changed about my storage collection and these were in the vanity section. They were down the aisle with the sinks and these are just for your kitchen drawers. They have two different sizes. I purchased the smaller one and you have to score them to fit into here, but they basically just fit. By the dimensions, I don't think they're supposed to fit, but it just, just fits. So if you like these organization trays, they are from Home Depot in the vanity section. So in this drawer, I just keep my foundations. I have drugstore foundations, concealers, and then all the foundations that I'm currently using. I do absolutely love trying new and different foundations. I'm always on the quest for the latest and greatest thing. So it's something I really love to try. In this drawer, I just keep my pressed powders, loose powders, and my bronzers. So along the side, I have my Ben Nye, which are a little bit bigger, so I just put them in there. My contour kit, these are my favorite 
pressed and bronzer, both by NARS. These are all my pressed powders. These are all my bronzers. And then I have a couple other bronzers in the back, but I just keep my most used up front. And then I have a couple other contour powders and loose powders. As you notice, this is a different storage container than the other ones. It doesn't have that big section and it has several little ones. And I bought this for about half of my drawers and then I bought the bigger ones uh, with the bigger sections uh, for the other half of my drawers. So I kind of just looked what I wanted to put in these drawers and decided based on that. But blushes fit perfectly into these, so that's why I did this one this way. So I absolutely love this drawer. This is one of my favorite and best organized drawers. I have NARS, The Balm, Milani, NYX Makeup Geek, NYX Cream Blushes, Sigma, and then these are all MAC. The last two ones are MAC, so I do love my MAC. And my personal favorite drawer would have to be this one. This is all my highlighters. And highlighter is my absolute favorite makeup product ever, so I keep tons and tons of highlighters. My mineralized skin finishes are in these containers by By Allegory. Just note that the new packaging by MAC doesn't actually fit in these holders, or it doesn't fit very well. If you're gonna do what I did, you can't really have that new packaging in those, just so you know. This is the first drawer that is one of the deep drawers, and this is probably my most disorganized drawer. I just have all my lashes. I kind of have all the brands stacked. So I have Socialized Cocoa, Velour, House of Lashes, some MAC, some random brands, some Cherry Blossom, Ardell in the back. So I do keep a variety of lashes from different lash brands and just some extra products in there as well. In this next drawer, I have just some alcohol, some sponges, Q-tips, makeup remover, things like that. I also keep at the back my back to Mac empties and also just empty pots for other companies where they offer recycling programs. In this drawer I keep my airbrush systems in the back and then I have a bunch of makeup bags and it looks kind of chaotic but inside the makeup bags I actually organized all my samples. So in two of the makeup bags I have skincare, in one I have some makeup products, another I have hair products, and this big clear plastic bag. I have a bunch of sample size mascaras and just extra ones that I keep in there. So I like to go through here every now and then and pick out some samples to try. Otherwise I just honestly don't use them if it's not organized. In this bottom drawer I keep all my hair stuff. This is the heavier drawer so that's why I decided to keep it on the bottom plus it keeps more. So I just have a blow dryer, all my hair tools, and a couple packs of hair extensions. My son actually decided to join us for the rest of this video so if you hear some baby noises it's just him but being a mommy and a youtuber at the same time some days I just can't get in a perfect film day so he's got to be here right now in this I just have my bases so my Maybelline Sigma Illamasqua Mac and then my pencil eyeliners I also have some liquid pens in this next drawer I have all my pigments and some single eyeshadows. So over here I have all my MAC pigment samples. I will list a website down below where you can get MAC pigment samples. They are authentic. That's where I'd always get my MAC samples. And you never use up a full size. So I always recommend getting samples. I also have some Pixie. These are all MAC. Then I have Makeup Geek and my L'Oreal Infallibles. Some MAC singles. So all singles and pigments. In this drawer, I keep all my drugstore lipsticks, lip balms, and I also keep lip liners. These are all lip balms, and then I have my drugstore lipsticks. So I don't have too many because you will see soon where I like to spend my money on lipsticks. So in this drawer, I use one of those bigger ones just to house my lip glosses. Uh, this isn't the best storage, but I like that I can see all the colors and they're all kind of separated by brand. So I have gotten a lot of these sent to me but these are kind of what I keep on hand. So LA Girl, Gerard Cosmetics, Anastasia, City Lips, some NYX. So this is mainly just drugstore and my next one is high end. In this next one, it is more my high end lipsticks and lip glosses that don't fit in my next drawer. So these are all MAC. These are more high end. I have some Lime Crime, some Sigma, some YSL Gerard Cosmetics, Dose of Colors. So those are kind of all organized like that. Then in this next one, you can see where all my money goes towards lipsticks. I do love MAC. These are all MAC. So I have my permanent range over here, and then I have my limited edition. They are all alphabetized except for my limited edition. They're just organized by collection. So those are all my MAC lipsticks. Then in this next one are all my eyeshadow palettes. 
I do love eyeshadow palettes. I have all my MAC in there, and that's the old MAC packaging. And then I have some Z palettes, which are full of Makeup Geek. My Urban Decay palettes, as you can see, and just other eyeshadow palettes. In this one, I keep extra brush rolls, some palettes that don't fit in my other one, and mostly blush palettes. So I have my MAC ones in the old packaging. Then I have three new ones, which are, two of them are actually empty. I need to depot some of those blushes to make room and put them in those palettes. And some more blush palettes, concealer palette, and some brush rolls, as I said. And then in this last drawer, I just keep my hair stuff. This is pretty messy all the time because my son likes to come in here and pull everything out. He is eyeing this as I film this. Just my most used hair products. I keep my products at the back, some brushes at the front, some oils, hair ties, that kind of thing. And I just do my hair and makeup both at this vanity. This is the mom desk pulled out. So this is the drawer and you can get it to pull out a little bit further just like the Alex drawers if you play around with the settings on it. But I have yet to do so. This is kind of how it is, but it's not a big deal because I don't use the back portions. This is where I keep all my everyday stuff, some new stuff, and just some random things. So I'm just going to go through this quickly to show you what I carry in my everyday drawer. So in the left half of this drawer, I have my agenda with a pen. I just keep YouTube related stuff in that. Then I have some setting sprays, my mascaras. I have concealers, eyebrow products, and eye primers that I use on a daily basis. Then on the right side of the desk, I keep some products that I use all the time, like under eye setting powder, and then I keep various eye products. I keep a gel, a liquid, and a pen just down there because I use those all the time. I keep my Chanel products that I have that I know to use just because they're more high-end and I want to get my money's worth. And then I have some eye tools, hand sanitizer. These are all primers and then some moisturizers, makeup removers, things like that. And then this is probably my favorite section over here. This is where I keep new things that I bought, need to haul for you guys, or things that I need to use in a video. So those are all like my new things. So I love going in there and putting things in there that I want to use. So just on the bottom beside my chair that I got from Winners, my vanity chair is just my garbage can and I picked that up from Ikea as well. So that is just an overview of my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned earlier, I might have edited that out, but I'm not sure. In this drawer at the far right, I do keep everything kind of in order that I use. So I have my face products from primer to foundation to powder. And then over here, I kind of have eye products and just other like bigger things like palettes and lipsticks and things like that.